And step on out here. Come on this way. With, can I put pants on first? Sir, we've got to clear the house. We're going to clear the house. Make and sure as soon as we clear on. the house, we'll get you to talk to your lawyer and we'll get some pants on, okay? That is former Trump Justice Department official Jeffrey Clark, and he's not wearing any pants. Can I open the Sir. garage and stand in the garage? It's a search warrant. It's a search, search warrant. Come on, right over here, Bobby, please. Stand behind the cars and we'll see you. There's no reason. Actually, there is a reason. Clark pushed the big lie about the 2020 vote and tried to help Donald Trump block Joe Biden's election certification. While CNN obtained a copy of police reports, which indicate officials seized a number of electronic devices from Clark during that early morning raid, officers also dispatched an electronic sniffing dog to search Clark's house. The news coming as we're learning the DOJ's investigation appears to be picking up steam. The, the significance of Jeffrey Clark is that we heard videotaped testimony from Bill Barr, former attorney general, and, and others during the January 6 hearings that they had told President Trump these theories about election fraud were ridiculous. What it looks like here in the sense of Mr. Clark is that President Trump was looking for someone to tell him otherwise, to give him some cover. That seems to be his significance here. That is significant, but how come the FBI would not let Jeffrey Clark put on some pants and cover up his underwear? I mean, talk about humiliating, at least if you are Jeffrey Clark. Well, this is where it all gets even more interesting. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. The FBI search of Jeffrey Clark's home came in late June. According to legal experts and veteran DOJ prosecutors, when the FBI raids the home of a former prominent department official, it is a big deal. And when they do it in this manner, not letting him put on pants and forcing him to immediately step outside, that means the FBI is worried that even if Clark has a few seconds to get dressed, he might use that precious time to try and destroy evidence. Furthermore, it's clear investigators believe Clark could not be trusted to turn over information voluntarily. Some of that may relate to his own record with the separate January 6 Special Congressional Committee. The committee first subpoenaed Clark in October 2021. He initially refused to cooperate. Then he agreed to a deposition, then walked out of it. When Congress then threatened Clark with contempt, he met with the January 6 Committee again, but this time he invoked his Fifth Amendment rights against self-incrimination. In other words, he delayed and delayed the committee's time before finally shutting down. By all accounts, Clark was a staunch supporter of Donald Trump's false claims of widespread election fraud. And just days before the January 6th riot and insurrection, President Trump considered installing Clark, an environmental lawyer, as attorney general. The idea was that Clark, as AG, would declare the election fraudulent, giving cover to Republican states to push forward an alternate slate of electors and thereby overturn the election. But other Justice Department officials said Clark was incompetent and unqualified to serve as attorney general. And Donald Trump abandoned the Clark plan after most of the DOJ leadership threatened to resign en masse. The actions of the FBI and Justice Department, including the search of Clark's home, are separate from the January 6 congressional investigation. Still, the DOJ actions are perhaps even more noteworthy. Because while Congress is limited to reporting investigation findings and delivering recommendations to the public and the Justice Department, it is the DOJ which has the power to actually bring criminal charges. And every day it seems that the potential for a criminal indictment is looming larger for Donald Trump and for his arguably corrupt co-conspirators, including the underwear lounging Jeffrey Clark.